Today, we welcome our first Japanese geographer to the Dialogue Project, Professor Keiichi Takeuchi from the Hito, Hito Tsubashi yes, University. Yes, Tsubashi University of Tokyo. Tokyo, yes. I'm delighted you agreed for this Thank interview. Thank you, also, yes. And uh, I'll just simply ask you to yes. tell me something of your own personal background, how you came to geography, and then we will move on to discuss mm -hmm. geography in Japan. Yes, I came to the field of geography. Yes, I entered the University of Tokyo in 1956, and in that period I was interested in biology and also I wanted to be specialized in that field. But after one year and a half of the general education or liberal arts course, I found myself interested more in human or social affairs. And among the department of the Faculty of Sciences, I choose the department of geography. Uh -huh. so, in the school time, I am not so much enthusiastic in the, this material. Rather, I hate it because <laughs> it has the only memory of Preston, etc. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But was there some particular teacher at the university that inspired you? Yes. Uh, I'm did not know so well the staff member of the Department of Geography of the University of Tokyo. And uh, in fact, in the period of undergraduate, I was rather disappointed oh. with the teachers. But in the postgraduate course, I am rather strongly influenced by Professor Koji Izuka, he died in 1970. Mm. He was very uh, original and very critical towards the main current mainstream of the geography of that period in Japan. How would you describe what was the current mainstream <laughs> at that time? Mm, mm, yes. That was uh, rather, anyhow, the university, uh, geography as the department of the University of Tokyo are strongly uh, physical geography oriented and uh, naturally the uh, simple uh, environmentalist uh, interpretation was rejected, but the only principle of uh, interpretation was, uh, according to me, that of that period, was uh, rather environmentalistic and uh, no relation with the uh, social science or the humanities of that period. And you preferred the social science humanities uh, side? Yes, uh, in that period I was rather uh, yes, uh, critical. Mm -hmm. uh, of this geography of that period. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the basis of your professor's critique, was it because it wasn't concerned about human beings or was it because it was environmentalist? Mm, yes, he, Professor Izuka insisted on that uh, geography must be a branch of social science. And now, yes, now I'm rather critical of even the position of Professor Izuka, he said the social science, but basically he was uh, rather Vidarian or uh, rather strongly influenced from the French school of geography and uh, not so social science oriented, uh -huh. but uh, yes. anyhow he insisted on the importance of uh, the methodology of social sciences and uh, we learned, yes, from that uh, point of view, the geography, and we, also some of our generation, was become rather critical of the 
mainstream of that period. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And then you went and studied elsewhere, didn't you? Was uh, that later, or was it just after you were working on your doctorate? Yes, I uh, studied uh, in Italy uh, mainly from 1959. I got the scholarship of Italian government for two years and remained another three years as uh, secretary work in the Japanese institution of culture at Rome. Uh -huh. So it wasn't really studying. Mm, yes, studying. It was studying too. But yes. You worked with the Japanese. Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. What impressed you about Italy? Yes, I think for every person, the first country where he studied, yes, gave a rather strong impression, and also certainly Italy of that period was uh, even economically more prosperous than Japan really? and uh, also a uh, standard of studies in some field uh, yes, uh, very impressed me and uh, but uh, Italian as for the Italian geographers I Yes, naturally, I made many, many friendships with Italian professors and also Italian colleagues. But I myself was rather interested in Italy, the regional problems, especially the problem of southern Italy, the Giorno. And in that period, no Italian geographers were interested seriously in that problem. So in Italy also, I am rather critical or outside the main the influence of the main current of Italian geography ah. of that period. So you worked rather independently? Yes, yes rather independently. Naturally, uh, I got many favors of Professor Carlo de la Valli mm. and uh, Professor Sestini, mm -hmm. etc. Big both of that yes. period. Yeah. Yes, yes. And then you returned to Japan, did you? Yes, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And I found, fortunately, I found uh, the post of lectureship at the Stutzbach University. And you've been there since? Yes. Since 1960? Uh, six. Yes. Fine. So this is your home base, and you have a laboratory of social geography. Yes. It fascinated me to hear that. Uh, is this one of the only laboratories of social geography in Japan? Yes, yes, in Japan, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in private universities, perhaps there are one, but anyhow, yes, uh, generally in Japan, the name of the Department of Geography, the Department of Geography. Yes. But in our case, yes, because our university, University of Shitotsubashi, is uh, we call it university, but we have only four faculties. Faculty of uh, Commerce and Economics and Law and uh, our faculty, uh, faculty of Social Studies. So the only the faculties of uh, Social Sciences, naturally we have a lecturer of Physical Geography as part-time, but uh, because our department is mainly also in the field of education oriented to the student of uh, social sciences. Mm -hmm. the also, yes, um, the founder was Professor Ryujiro Ishida, my predecessor, and uh, I don't know exactly why he named our de department so it, as a laboratory for social geography, but I like very much yes, this name, yes. Yes, that's fine. And uh, you train teachers, and would there be other vocations that students would take when they graduate from your university? Most students enter in the business sector. Business. Oh, yeah. So presumably it's comparable to what the Swedes call Handelshögskola. Yes, yes, oh, yes, okay. yes. Now we can position it. Mm. Uh, could, we, could I ask you now about uh, geography in general in Japan? I know that you have written on the history of geography in Japan. You've written on geopolitics. Mm -hmm. uh, all of that it would be enormously interesting to hear. Oh, I see. And yes, ge mm, 
geography as a knowledge of uh, a surface or some interpretation between nature and uh, man and nature. In this sense, also in Japan, the traditional system of this knowledge or this interpretation, which must be called geography, but as academic discipline, it uh, was uh, established around the turn of century, as in between and the establishment of the Department of Geography at the Imperial University of Kyoto and the Tokyo of Okado uh, between 1910 and 1925. So, as academic discipline, geography in Japan is rather young. And uh, before the World War II, there uh, also a number of geographers uh, rather limited, and until the period of my student time, the situation was continued. But uh, after World War II, uh, in 1949, uh, there was introduced the American University system, and there had been created many chairs of geography. And consequently, in the period of uh, economic growth, there are a kind of boom of uh, university and the department. And in that period, there increased many geographers, specialist university geographers. And with the increasing number of geographers, also situation of geography in Japan had changed, I think, remarkably. Also, naturally, there are internationalization of mm -hmm. uh, all the sciences after mm -hmm. the, in the circumstances of the after World War II, but uh, especially in the field of geography, uh, my generation, when we were uh, students, we had no hope to be become the university professor, etc. but actually after 10 or 15 years, all of us uh, in the graduate school could enter in the university and so naturally there are many current or many trends or ideological background. But anyhow, we became, main, we become, construct, we became this. Mm, mainstreams. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Now that early period of foundation, mm. uh, 1910 to 1924, mm. uh, was geography established first in the imperial universities or at a lower level? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, uh, first, I think uh, also in other countries, uh, geography first recognized as uh, important materials in the compulsory education. So, uh, the first it was institutionalized in the levels of teachers' training college. Uh -huh. And to form the professors at the teachers' uh, training college, uh, it was established the geography in the university level. Uh, it was a yes, uh, higher normal school, the first, and university. Imperial University of to Kyoto and Imperial University of Tokyo. But at the same time, they also established uh, some department of geography in the private university. Yes, so it was a mixed thing. Yes. And what, how would you describe the, the, the influences as far as thought currents? Mm -hmm. German, French, English, American, or, or Chinese? Uh, Chinese influence yes, in the traditional uh, thought, geographical thought, they are so strong, the Chinese uh, yes. uh, thought. But in the academic geography, generally it is considered that the uh, uh, main impact or influence came from Germany, and many early professors cited um, as many uh, writings. 
both in physical and human geography from German authors. But actually, I think many of them read German authors through English literature. I see. <laughs> Not in the original <laughs> German. Mm -hmm. They weren't Naturally, there are many of you studied in Germany, but mm, the so-called German influence must, well, most of the so-called German influence, I think, came through English literature. Translations. Yeah. I see. Uh -huh. uh, was there much text material translated to Japanese, or were they read in other languages? Yes, in that period, that uh, means in 1920s and 30s, there have been published have been published many uh, books for university students to deliver. But I say in that uh, period, perhaps the fact that there are no problem of uh, copyright. This so many books was effectively translation or version of. Western writers, yes, yes. and uh, some Japanese yes, professors wrote many, published many books, because in that period there existed uh, teachers' license examination system for the teachers of the middle school level, and many teachers at the elementary school uh, wanted to become the teachers at the middle school. So there are rather huge markets to who yes. want to become the teachers at middle school. So and many university professors of that period, that means the nineteen twenties and the thirties, were examiners of the teachers' rights examination. So on this back institutional background they yes could publish it, many books. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some was books also, I think, sold, for instance, um, 5,000 or 10,000 copies. It is uh, unthinkable now. <laughs> unthinkable, yes, yes. Could you just mention a couple of key names of uh, European authors who were well known in Japan during that founding period? That founding period, na I mean, naturally, yes, in the geomorphology, uh, Davis and uh, Alfred Pank was very uh, uh, known. And in the field of human geography, for instance, Passarge and uh, other, yes, German school of uh, morphology of cultural landscape. Mm -hmm. But um, I cannot distinguish whether they read uh, German literature or they paraphrase the morphology of cultural landscape of Sawa. Of <laughs> Sawa, yes. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Well, that's, that's very interesting. Now, you have written most interesting articles on geopolitics mm -hmm. in Japan. Yes. I would be very happy if you would describe some of that. Yes. Uh, I, that article, yes. Uh, I, in English version, perhaps, uh, I um, published in 1980, mm -hmm. but uh, before, in 1974, I first published in Japanese. And I wanted to do this, uh, perhaps since my the student time. Yeah. Because in Japan, uh, there existed a rather uh, strong movement during the World War II, this kind of Japanese geopolitics. Uh, some authors are rather influenced uh, directly uh, from the uh, German geopolitics, Karl Haushofer, and also for Karl Haushofer, uh, Japan is rather special meanings because he has yes, Japanese influence, uh, Japanese experience as uh, yes, he worked a kind of uh, uh, attaché militaire in, in Japan. That's very strong, so he uh, wrote many 
books and the papers on the geopolitics of the Pacific area in the East Asia. Some authors were influenced by the um, Karl Haushofer, and some authors were rather properly Japanese, or uh, they invented the Japanese geopolitics uh, according to the nationalistic idea of that period, rather, this is uh, rather a mixture of Shintoism and uh, Tennoism or Imperialism. Anyhow, uh, after World War II, some geographers, university professors, have been purged by the authority uh, of Allied forces. But in the, from the side of Japanese geography, there has been made no serious scientific reflection or critic to, the, to this experience of Japanese geopolitics. Perhaps only papers written during the wartime was uh, papers made by Professor Izuka, but uh, Izuka himself was also collaborated with the Japanese army in East Western, East yes, in Manchuria, yes, in Northwestern part, Northeastern part of China, after China. And so, perhaps because there are still many persons alive in that period, also now, and many university professors were former student of these uh, geopoliticians or some sympathizer of Japanese geopolitics. So it needed some courage yes. to make this work. And perhaps my generation was completely free of the uh, influence of former geopoliticians. So I made this and it was the, perhaps the first papers that treated the Japanese geopolitics. Did you get much reaction within Japan when it was published? Yes, yes, some reactions, yes. Yeah. Negative yes. or positive? Mostly positive. Oh. And uh, also I was one of the big leaders of Japanese geopolitics of Kyoto School. Uh, Muroga. Uh, Professor Muroga, uh, I was rather severely criticized uh, his intention. Also, I appreciate his uh, achievement in this field of uh, settlement geography, but anyhow, in the wartime, he uh, invented a rather fanatic uh, theory of Japanese geopolitics. And later, perhaps uh, in around uh, 1977 or 8, four years after my publication in Japanese, I happened to meet him. Uh -huh. <laughs> How was that? And he said that, all right, I think it was all the truth that he <laughs> pointed out. Fine, fine. So that was needed. Was there much actual collaboration between geography and we we'll say applied interests, military interests, or economic <laughs> development, or those other applied interests before World War II. Before World War II, yes, uh, geographers wanted to, yes, uh, some geographers uh, collaborate with the uh, yes, uh, national target, but. but mm, before the war time, there not, was really not so uh, much uh, application of geography. Geography was considered mainly for the education purpose, for the yes, training of the, uh, the teachers. Uh -huh. no, naturally, uh, through the education of geography uh, in the compulsory education level, it served I think remarkably, to the encouragement of uh, patriotic uh, sentiment. 
Uh -huh. Yes, yes. That, I think, is also characteristic of some European countries. Now, you made a division between post-49. That was another phase of growth in Japanese geography. Uh, yes. Now, could I ask you, how would you characterize the thought uh, uh, style of that period? I presume it was different from what had been there before World War II. Mm -hmm. How would you characterize that? The first period after World War II, about, about 10 or 15 years, was a reaction to the pre-war geography. That is, they adopted many method or research instrument other than geography, broader from other disciplines, from the economic, source, anthropology, etc. Mm -hmm. This is one uh, trend, one reaction. And also, there made many discussion against the environmentalism. But also, this is rather exaggerated, because in that period, no no so strict environmental determinism, but many geographers invented some environmental determinism and criticized this rather easily. And only after 1960s, I think, in Japan, arrived new wave of uh, geography. Some adopted quantitative method, and anyhow, uh, some made more positivist uh, research or made more importance with the comparative studies with foreign countries, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, would you, was there any break within that modern period? You said yourself in 1956 and so that yes, you were yes. My discontent. Yes, yes. Your generation? No, my generation, well, generation, yes, which formed after, it was formed as geographer after about two years. And you were the ones who brought in these things yes, from yes, other yes, disciplines oh, oh, yes. and quantitative, yes. 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 Uh -huh. um, any other feature of the post-war period besides its anxiety to become a social science and, mm. and borrow in it. Did it become more applied also? No. Also, I changed it. I, in a certain period, I don't think to be a geography or it is all right to make some scientific research in regional Libya, etc. Mm -hmm. But now, I, well, perhaps since I, how to teach the geography at the university, and uh, as I said, it was a university rather oriented in the, or specialized in social sciences. So, to show the, my raison d'etre among my uh, colleagues, I have to show the variety of geography among the uh, various dis disciplines of social sciences. So I really, in that, since that period, I reflected the method or methodology of geography. And perhaps from that reason also, I began to consider the history of geographical thought, etc. And it is not only mine, many young, uh, new generation of geographers firstly rather abandoned uh, geogra geography or mm -hmm. rather fall into the anti-geography. But now they, most of them, yes, uh, think about the variety or proper raison d'etre of uh, geography. Yes, yes. How do you define it? Is it a social science? Yeah, but uh, I think they are not proper methodology of geography, but anyhow, it, there are always special aspect of uh, social, uh, in the social phenomena, and 
many specialists of uh, various disciplines of social science ignore this, this spatial aspect. And also, uh, we can contribute to, uh, yes, to suggest them some proper methodology concerning the spatial aspect of uh, our social life. So geography for you would be very much the sort of um, spatial associations of phenomena, regardless. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the spatial tradition. Spatial, yes, yes. And you would have no place for the so-called man milieu tradition. No, not so. No. Very. Okay, that's uh, clear. Yes. Uh, do any Japanese geographers cultivate the man milieu side? Yes, I think there's so, so many, uh -huh. um, but now there are many. Uh, yes, a boom of ecology and also they are made many, also in theoretically and also empirically, detailed and precise studies by cultural anthropologists. And uh, I think they can make much more contribution in this field. Mm -hmm. In your own research area at the moment, Apart from the history of geographic thought, which I know you're mm -hmm. doing, yeah. do you have any particular yes. empirical interest? Yes. Uh, why I always grow from my uh, younger age uh, is the uh, regional problems, especially uh, problems of southern Italy, but in the broader context of the uh, spatial inequality uh, of social life or in the state. Among the states, naturally I think it is very important to, uh, yes, in the among the states, among the nations, it is very important, but I don't make this study because it is rather needs more profound knowledge of the international economics, etc. So mm -hmm. I'm rather interested in the regional problem of nation and especially in Mediterranean country in Italy and also in Japan. In Japan, so I made just many uh, empirical studies in mountainous areas or isolated uh, areas such as uh, uh, remote islands, etc. Mm. Uh -huh. Regional development. Look yeah, regional development or, or studies of marginal areas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you've, you've given me the impression that there is some diversity of thought among Japanese geographers today, but could I ask you how you would envision something specially Japanese? What is Japan's contribution to geography? Especially Japanese in yes. human geography, it's rather difficult to say. Perhaps uh, Japan, Japanese society experienced, experienced rather radical change in this uh, quarter century. So we can yes, uh, contribute to the rapid changing aspect of the society, for instance, the rather rapid uh, formation of marginal area or changing position of prosperous and uh, poor uh, areas. Not really, yes. There are so as many other contribute proper to the Japanese field we can make. Mm -hmm. And also theoretically, it is very important thing is the uh, um, examination or the appraisal of uh, traditional or indigenous thought, of your indigenous geographical uh, thought. Naturally, it is not properly Japanese. Some also influenced by Chinese thought, yes. but anyhow, uh, their ge uh, geographical thought or geographical yes, thinking uh, outside Western civilization, perhaps we can make contribution to in the re-examination of uh, geographical thought other than Western countries or the examination of geographical thought free of 
eurocentrism. Yeah. Right, ethnocentrism. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, in the field of physical geography, I think also there are many contributions proper to Japan, especially in the, for instance, geomorphology. Yes. Uh, Japan is, first of all, very uh, unstable uh, land. Uh -huh. So, cluster movement is very uh, uh, remarkable. And also, the precipitation in Japan is rather remarkable. So, the Erosion factors, erosion agent, erosion agency is very strong. So, in I think in field of morphology, I'm not specialist to that no. field, but makes some um, big contribution yes. in this field. Yes, properly from the, from the experience of the uh, field. Yes. You have an important woman in geomorphology. Yeah, this uh, uh, Professor Ota. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about the biological side? Um, you know, I know Japan has done some wonders on clearing polluted water and so on, making mm. fish beds more fertile. Right. Are geographers involved in biogeographical work? No, uh, there are very few geographers who, oh. who are contributed. But this is also from the uh, social viewpoint, very interesting. Yes, in certain period, around 1970, Japan was called the museum of uh, environmental pollution. We had all kinds of yes, environmental pollutions, but now, for instance, the atmosphere here and the water is rather clean. Yes? Mm -hmm. Because of it is perhaps the particularity of uh, Japanese uh, system. Anyhow, with the adoption of many severe measures, in 10 years it was changed rather rapidly. That is most remarkable. Um, any other thing you'd like to say about Japanese geography as compared with other traditions? Mm, yes, but I think I not think about the property of Japanese geography. <laughs> we are rather, yes. Um, our generation is rather internationalized. In this sense, we, I never thought about the yes, right. proper character of Japanese geography. No, one isn't, one doesn't. But what are your biggest hopes for Japanese geography? And what are your biggest fears about it mm. for the future? I'm so optimistic. No? <laughs> yes, and naturally, yes. Uh, in the university, we can help the uh, yes, position of geography, but in the socially, geography is not so much apprised, and also in the uh, among the disciplines of humanities or social sciences. Geography is not so much, except some personal uh, merits. Some geographers, yes, make works which uh, apprise very much by the other specialists. But at the whole, I think ge Japanese geography is rather easily remain in the framework of institutionalized yes, mm. <laughs> system, yes. That in the in the yes, because education, education, education yes. in the yes, also in the university level. Yes, naturally in the university level students can choose their materials. But anyhow, in the liberal arts geography is uh, considered as the most important, one of the most important materials, so it needs, it's uh, always a post of geographers, and we must reflect this easy situation of the yes, institutionalized frame. 
It's not a bad place to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to thank you ever so much thank you for this Matthew. conversation, yeah. and I look forward to meeting you again soon and maybe have some other Japanese geographers. Mm, yes,